So we're going to do vintage rose nail art today and it's so beautiful. I love this nail art. So start with your base and then apply your colour until you have the right opaqueness that you want. You can do pink, you can do a green and we did a baby blue. I really really love the pinks in the rose colours on blue. So let's get into it. First off you need to figure out how many roses you can fit on that nail. If you have a long nail bed you can get more roses on but this is my hand actually and I have little tiny nails and they have to be short because I do massage so you can get three, roughly three little roses on my nails. So we've popped one in the corner, one at the top and then a full another one at the bottom. The rose colour that we're using is called Kiss Me, I'm a Brazilian, it is a gel colour that we're using by OPI and we just do blobs, literally you don't even have to worry about like making it look like a petal or if you really want make it look kind of like a poppy, you know with blobby petals but nothing too specific, you can see Alex is doing my nails and she's just doing blobs, you know rough blobs, really really simple, really easy when you put on your flicks of colour it's going to transform. If you're using gel nail art I recommend that you put on the leaves first before you carry on. Just make sure that your little leaves are going to fit in correctly and that you're not going to do your three placements and then go to put on the leaves later and find it just doesn't look right. The leaves really don't need to be big. When I first tried this design I did leaves that were far too big. Just little leaves is all you need for the eye to recognise that this is a flower. So mix up your green, make it whatever colour you like and pop those leaves on. Make sure you are filling in that empty space. So place the leaves where it will do the best for the design and fill the empty space between the flowers. Have a think about it before you do it. Next you're going to use a darker pink. So you've got a light pink, almost like a white, kind of real, like a real pale pink. You want a medium pink and you want a dark pink. We've used the medium pink and now we're using the dark pink and we're doing little flecks just around so you can see one fleck on one side, one fleck on the other side just like semicircles and then we're placing little tinier flecks and then we're just going to the other parts of the roses and doing the same and at first you probably think mm, maybe it looks good, it kind of does look like roses but the magic is when you add the two tones. So now you move on to your pale pink and you'll pop in your pale colours around inside of where you've placed the darker colour pink. So you just eyeball it and with gels because I've cured each level if we don't like these we can wipe it off and we're still left with that dark pink flicks and petal shapes so you can you know go ahead and change it and mix it up as you like. All of the light pink has been applied and it looks like this now. So we cure that. Each part we're curing under the LED light and then afterwards just to touch it up a little bit go back over with your dark pink just to check it all looks correct and looks like it's got the bud going on because the darker is kind of in the centre of the flower because that's where the bud and the petals normally are the most compact. Now we're going to add polka dots to the rest of the nails and we're being very symmetrical. We're doing one, two, three down, then in between those we're doing one, two, three again. On my nails I can only fit that many. So it's very patterned, it's not random. Just you know to go with, with the look of the vintage. You could actually do stripes, they take a bit longer to do stripes so we did polka dots. Once you put that top coat on it just blends together the colours that you've done, the light, the pink, the bright and it makes that rose just really pop and look vibrant. It's beautiful. So have a look. We've chosen to use my favourite ornament as a feature nail as well. So there you have it. The colour I've used is a blue by Gel Shine. It is an at home colour that you can use. It's in part of the Sephora at home OPI Gel Shine kit and it's like a baby blue. I think it's Havana. 
and I love this colour. It's just a really, really cool colour. Thanks for watching another nail art tutorial. I hope you learned something new today and I will see you next time. Subscribe!